Wednesday. Welcome to our daily prayers. The song we've been reflecting on this week. I will offer up my life in spirit and truth, pouring out the oil of love as my worship to you. In surrender I must give my every part. Lord, receive the sacrifice of a broken heart. The phrase which strikes me is the bit about our broken heart. Um, things that are broken in our modern world we, we throw away and we wonder why a broken heart is something that's commended by God. But of course what's, what it's saying is it recognises the fact that we can't justify ourselves. We fall short in terms of God's holiness. And a broken heart is recognising that reality within our lives that, like everyone else, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And in that state of humility, realising we can't do this by ourselves, we hand our lives over to God. And so do join with me as we pray to him now. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. We've been thinking about um, Moses telling the people, do not fear, stand firm. And so today we're going to look at um, where that phrase stand firm comes in the New Testament. And so just today we're going to look at Ephesians chapter 6, which talks about this. Verse 13, therefore writes the Apostle Paul, put on the full armour of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground, and after you have done everything, to stand. So we're very much in that mindset of standing with our foundation on, uh, on God. And actually the way Paul describes it is he describes this as putting on different parts of armour, thinking about the different aspects of God we can rely on. Stand firm then with the belts of truth buckled round your waist with the breastplate of righteousness in place and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up the shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. There is so much that God gives us but the Christian duty is to stand in it or to put the armour on, because those are the things that will give us strength. I wonder, how does your Christian armour fit you? Is it something you wear occasionally or do you, as it were, stand in it? A time to reflect as we have a space for our prayers now. And so as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, now 
and for evermore. Amen.